Hey everybody, welcome to Post to Post. My name is Neil. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and welcome to possibly the rarest Adidas jersey that you can not get. It is literally impossible to get this online. I don't even know if it's available on eBay. I've checked multiple times in the last three years. I've never seen it on eBay, okay? This may be one of the rarest, if not the rarest, NHL Adidas jersey since they came into, um, you know, making the uniform or making the jerseys in 2017. So there's a bit of a backstory behind this. Uh, so I know someone who actually lives in the city and they actually work for the team, but uh, unrelated to how I got this, but it was available at a store and someone posted it on Reddit. And then I, I someone sent me that post from Reddit and then I contacted the guy down there. I'm like, listen, can you do me a favor? Can you go to the store? and see if it's true to see if it's actually there in store in person and he went and there were I think three and it's not the exact size I want size 52 prefer size 50 but it is the jersey officially and I'm so excited to open it I never you know I say this a lot I I never expected to get this jersey that is true but this is it's never been more true for this jersey so let's open it up and let's see what's inside I'm not going to use the top down camera because there's actually more things in this box than just the jersey and uh, i don't want to spoil it and it's not washington catholic if i unbox the jersey i don't wear the same team that i'm unboxing so it's not the washington capitals this is, a, this is a bit of a challenging box so bear with me while i try and open this all right it has been opened i'm just going to get it out of the way and show you the jersey first and then i'm going to show you the other things and the other things are also incredible but the jersey oh just, you know, it's just one of those things. Never thought I'd ever see it. It's just, that's how rare it is. Okay, here we go. It is a Western team. And the hint is they used to be in the Pacific Division. They are no longer in the Pacific Division. It is an away version of the Arizona Coyotes jersey. Like, literally, you, you even when they were released, I don't know if you could have bought this online. That's how rare it was. So it's got the it's got the button from one of the first production runs. It's got that original sticker coming down. It has the properly sized logo, I believe, because this is size 52. That looks properly sized to me. It's got the patches on the shoulders. So kind of an odd time to get this jersey because well, they just rebranded. The Kachina is back in home and away, both officially, and uh, this is no longer available. Like they will never wear this again. So a really special jersey and. Uh, I feel I feel incredibly lucky to have this and shout out to Tim and down in uh, Phoenix for getting this for me I really appreciate you Tim and it wasn't uh, there was no deals on this like this was this is pretty much a full price purchase it was a, a very expensive venture to get this to me unfortunately but it was worth it because it was one of those jerseys that you know what if you have the opportunity you may not ever have the opportunity again so I had to capitalize on the opportunity and I can say that you know I'm one of few people who actually own this jersey so I'm I'm thrilled. I am super pumped. I might not seem. I'm, I'm trying to act a little bit calm and not show off that I'm. I get this excited about a jersey. Truth is, I'm very excited on the inside. Now, the other thing I want to show you is a couple of couple of Vegas things actually. So Tim went to Vegas and he's like, "Listen, there's some stuff going on here. I think you might be interested." He sent me some pictures of some product. He's like, "Let me know what you want, and I can get it for you and include it in the package with the jersey." And I saw some things that I wanted. So there's three things. Uh, number one is a puck. So I've been to Vegas. I was at the T-Mobile Arena for the conference finals against Winnipeg in their first year, which was amazing. And I got a puck like this. It wasn't gold. It was black. But this is a gold puck. And this is, you know, they just play my, my favorite team, the Montreal Canadiens in the conference finals. Montreal won. So he was there. He saw one of the games, and he got this puck for me. And uh, I, I just had to have it because it is never going to happen again, likely. <laughs> the Montreal Canadiens may never make it back to the conference finals, let alone the Stanley Cup finals for, you know, potentially decades. Who knows? So important uh, puck for me to have. And then the other thing was because of the pandemic, because there's limited capacity in a lot of the arenas over the, you know, 2020 and then into 2021, some arenas didn't have any fans. So they kind of spiced up their arena a little bit. They put things on the seats. They wrapped them, they made, you know, big, they sold like uh, sponsorship sections and stuff. Well, Vegas put like these wraps over the seats and they were colored and then they sold them. So there was a couple that was available in different colors, but I got the gold Vegas, I got the gold Vegas one 
And it's like this, I don't even know what material this is. It's, it's like, a tail, like a placemat or something. But uh, yeah, I had to get it, and I'm gonna put it in the background somewhere. I think it's, I think it's awesome. Like it's, I think it was ten dollars, so like it wasn't very expensive. But just to say that, I have it. Like COVID sucks. It was terrible. But this is something that literally never would have existed without it. So I can kind of say, you know, I own a little bit of a piece of history from that. So uh, a little disappointed to see how pixelated this section is, but it's, you know, it's gonna be in the background. It doesn't really matter. And you sure as heck wouldn't have noticed it on TV last year. So awesome, very happy that I have that. And then this next, this next item, guys, it's, you might wanna put, you might wanna put some sunglasses on. That's, that's all I'm gonna say. But I need to, I need to change jerseys really quickly. Just bear with me. All right, here's your hint. I've got the egregious gold alternate Vegas jersey on. That I know, I, I, I know. It, it, it's frustrating for me too, having to wear this hat with this jersey. 2017, uh, 2018 Stanley Cup final matchup, by the way, going on here, but still frustrating to look at. But let's fix this. Let's put on a matching hat to this jersey. Wow, looking at this for the first time on camera, I look absolutely ridiculous. This is a ridiculous hat. And it, I don't know if you can hear this or not. It has that same kind of scratchy material in a way as, as the jersey. It's actually a very comfortable hat, but I look ridiculous. I mean, it looks amazing. I look amazing because it matches, but that's the only reason. Like, just broadly and optically, this, what's going on here, not good. <laughs> this, this is not good. But uh, I can't own this jersey and not have a hat to match it. Like, it's, you, you need this hat. And I couldn't find it anywhere, and then he sent me a picture. I'm like, that's it. I've been looking for that. Like, that, that's what's going to happen. So he got it. Actually, a very comfortable hat. It is Fanatics, so I'm gonna switch back to the other hat just so I can show you up close. Okay, there we go, uh, clashing. Okay, let's take a close look at this hat. So we got a bit of a beveled logo on the front. Very, uh, very nice material, very nice quality. And then that shine, not sure if you can totally see all the fleckle in the shine, but it is in there and it is intense. So, bit of a silly hat. That's better, let's fix this. There we go, that's better. Okay, so, there you have it. One of the most rare, if not the rarest jerseys in the NHL. A really cool gold puck for my collection. A piece of history, a piece of COVID arena history that I can hang in the background of my set somewhere. And then an, an absolutely incredible but disgusting hat at the same time. So one of the best unboxings I've ever done on the channel. Thank you so much, Tim, for going the extra mile down there and going to the stores and getting this stuff and sending me the pictures and then going to the post office and sending it to me. I really appreciate your effort and your kindness. So thank you so much. Hope you guys are having a great day. If you're new, please hit the subscribe button down below for future unboxing videos just like this. I got all kinds of jerseys coming. NHL season's starting soon and we're talking hockey. Have a great day, guys, and I'll talk to you very soon. Adios.